Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the multiplier. Okay. The multiplier, the expenditure multiplier, or the income multiplier. Okay, so the value of the multiplier, so you can call it the expenditure multiplier, or you can call it the income multiplier, is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus the MPC. Right. So if we tell you, if we tell you that the MPC is 0 0.8, then the multiplier is simply 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.8, 1 over 0 0.2 equals 5. So what does that actually mean? What does the multiplier equal 5 actually mean? That means that if you increase income by one dollar you will increase gdp by five dollars that's what the multiplier means when we say the multiplier is five okay so if you get a question in the exam that asks you to calculate the multiplier then this here is your formula right and if the multi mpc is 0 0.8 this here is your answer if the, you know, if the MPC is 0 0.5, your answer is 2. You work it out individually. Okay? But the exam might ask you instead to find the total change in income. Right? For example, the question says there's been an increase in government spending of $100. Okay? And it tells you MPC is equal to 0 0.8. Okay, and then the question says, you know, find the increase in output, find the increase in GDP. Okay, first, that change in GDP or income is simply going to be equal to the change in the government spending multiplied by the multiplier. Okay. The question says government spending has gone up by one hundred dollars, and the question says multiplier is zero point eight. So we've already worked out that this over here is five. So this here is then simply equal to one hundred times five, and you will get an increase of five hundred dollars in your GDP. Right. So it's as simple as that. Okay, just be very careful that the question is asking you to find the multiplier or whether it's asking you to find the change in the value.